Here we have a farm all cub tractor with a full set of cultivators. Has six feet in the front, two feet in the rear for plowing up your track. Has a new alternator, new belts, new carburetor, new rings in the engine, <clears throat> new head gasket. All of the other engine components were checked and they are well within the, uh, an acceptable tolerance. So they were left as is. The tractor has new tires all the way around. As you can see, they're all a matching set. And they do not have much use in them uh, at all. As you can still see the, the, uh, the rubber there on the treads that has it worn off. See, they're a matching set. Then you can see the front tire here. <clears throat> Still see the little ridge there with the, uh, the blue line. Hasn't worn off. Those are a matching set as well. Here's the carburetor. We did put a new gas tank and hood on the tractor at the time of uh, repairing it simply because the old gas tank had a lot of rust in it so we had a good uh, replacement and uh, put that on. It does have a dent in it right there but other than that it's very straight and clean and, um, and we repainted it so it, it looks real nice with the, uh, with the tractor. Like I was saying, the tractor starts up and runs great. Hydraulics work great. It does have a puff of smoke every now and then, but uh, has really good oil pressure. And I'll show you all of that. So it has the new rings and, and it, it runs real good now. And, and uh, it's not a problem. So. With this being a magneto conversion, all you do is simply check to see if it's in neutral. Set your throttle about a quarter of the way, looks to be about right, and then pull the starter rod. See it starts right up. Runs good, smooth, no smoke. That's it idle. And the way you excite the alternator is you, uh, you push down on the switch here, and that should excite the alternator. Now it's charging. To kill the tractor, you just push up on the toggle switch, and that grounds out the, uh, the magnet over there. And the other switch there will be your light switch. And then you can see the oil pressure at idle is really well. That's about 60 pounds. You see the new belts there. The tractor has had all new fluids from top to bottom, from, from radiator to final drives. And I'll show you how the hydraulics work. Let's see, let's, uh, let's go ahead and rev it up. See, it's still running good, no smoke. Every now and then it might pop a little bit if it gets under a mine, but nothing to worry about. Now I'll work the hydraulics.
They'll stop anywhere you want them to, just fine. Then we'll see the tractor run here. Runs good and smooth, not smoking. It's a good little cub to go in the garden. It's not a parade tractor, not a show tractor. Um, it looks good, but it's not perfect. But it's perfect for a garden. It's ready to go in the garden. Should be a good, reliable, cultivating tractor. We'll go ahead and idle her down here. It's got tight steering. I'd say play us from about 12 to 1, maybe 2. It's got a tight front end. Um, the front end does not wobble or dance around. Good and smooth steering. Um, Transmission is good. Doesn't make a lot of whining like most of them do this age. So that's the Farm All Cub tractor. Um, I'll go ahead and shut it off to show you how that works. You simply just get ready to turn it off. I always turn the gas off under the uh, tank there. But um, when you get ready to turn it off, you simply just lift up on the switch. Uh, kills the tractor. But uh, that's the Cub tractor. If you have any questions, just send me an email. Thank you.